Hey everybody, Frank Sullivan, Mad Scientist here. I wanted to show you a very interesting experiment here. Uh, and before I do, I wanted to acknowledge uh, Russell Martin, who uh, gave me this thought. Uh, I did this years ago, and he was talking about it, and I decided to pick it back up, and <laughs> this thing is so cool. Anyways, um, a lot of people call this cold fusion. Uh, some people call it other things. Uh, but what it does is it burns in the water itself at roughly 10,000 degrees and it creates a magnetic gas called magna gas. So in later, uh, I'm going to develop a little something in there to capture the gas and test it out. Uh, it's three batteries here, 36 volts. And... Uh, I'm going to hook this thing up and uh, we'll give it a try and see if I can capture it on film here, which I think I should be fine. It's got to be very careful now. Get ready for this. Let's see. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Woo. That's a reaction. <laughs> Quite a reaction. Anyways, um, it creates quite a violent reaction and massive amounts of gas real fast so this is all fun this is just my test unit i have to build a little more secure system so i can incrementally get it closer and closer to each electrode and um just make it a little better i just wanted to make sure everything working out fine proof of concept that it, it does the job so on to making a better system and collecting the gas and seeing if it's magnetic. Okay, test one, 36 volts, three batteries, and uh, we'll hook up the positive here. Yeah, oh, look at that. Okay. Now the theory goes just so you uh, might get a general idea about this when you first start this up the two electrodes will start doing electrolysis you'll see hydrogen oxygen coming off them as soon as they get a little bit closer the heat is so intense it starts burning the hydrogen as it goes and it also ionizes the water now if I ran this even longer it would go from one glow to a stabilization glow of something else. What it is, is rather intriguing. It takes all the ionization in the water and fuses it with the hydrogen, making helium. Once it does that, it, it goes into such an interesting hyper state. It, it's um, essentially, this is what stars do. I mean literally stars and we're recreating this in a lab test experiment so this is a very intriguing type of uh, invention that you can do here at home and I'm here at my laboratory in my living room and uh, also the gas coming off of it is pretty interesting gas it's similar to either propane or uh, natural gas. So it's ideal for burning in generators or whatever type engine you want. And the production rate is immense. So later experiments, I would love to try to take my generator, hook it up directly and do it on demand and literally take the battery power out and plug it into the generator. So uh, I got a lot more experimenting to do, but so far success, it works as advertised. 